hello we are now going to look at how variables are used in Python variables crop up everywhere in Python and all of our future videos will rely on these as well we are going to stick to using an interactive shell just for this demonstration because we're still sort of trying stuff out and a lot of the early programming is just playing around so please please be trying for questions be be trying for stuff I'm showing you don't just be sat there watching it is important to play around and try stuff out so and the shell is really good for that so let me just sort of drag this over so I've got a bit more space to do this I apologize it's a bit small it'll become bigger in the next few videos so I've got my my prompt here I can start typing some code so what we did last video was do some basic arithmetic operations something like 5 times 10 the asterisk being multiplication 5 times 10 is 50 I press enter on my keyboard and the code runs line by line and when I did that calculation that result 50 was just shown to me underneath my input like that but what if I want to store that result so we can store results using something called variables and the syntax for variables in Python for syntax being the rules of Python is you have a name so let's call this result we have a space or you should do a space and then an equal sign and then another space and then you write your result so in this case the result we just put 50 here and then press enter and nothing happens this time you have no output from this code because all we're doing is storing 50 under the name result so result is our first variable like so if I now type in result and just press enter I get 50 back so 50 has been stored under the name result and that name is within reason anything we want it to be we can't do certain things like we're not allowed to have say a number starting off our name like this if we have five result for some reason and set to 50 press enter I get an error I get an, a syntax error I've broken those rules of Python I'm not allowed to start off with a number it's just how Python works I'm also not allowed to do two separate words if I do something like my result equals 50 and then press enter again in value syntax I'm breaking the rules of Python it's got to be one word to get around this if you have if you particularly want to give it one word or multiple words you can put them as one you could just do my result like that or I like to to make it a bit easier do what we call camel case in programming we have a lowercase letter first of all which you should do anyway you shouldn't really be starting your variables uppercase and you have lowercase and then after your first word you do uppercase like that so a bit like a camel's hump you have a lowercase starting and then each word has a capital letter to make it a little bit clearer and this will be fine let us just talk about this a little bit so we've got our lowercase word here result equals 50 so this name over here is what we would call well so first of all it's a variable in this exact case but more generally we would call this an identifier in programming so an identifier is any word we give we as a programmer are giving of a language to represent something in this case it's a value so 50 here is a value which we are storing under the name result under the identifier result now it's an identifier for us for human the computer doesn't care what we call result doesn't care what we call the variable but it's a good idea to give it a, a meaningful name otherwise it'd be really confusing if you called this um, ABC equals 50 you wouldn't know what it is but result at least tells us that it there's been some calculation in this case 5 times 10 when you are doing this process when we are giving a name and having an equal sign and putting a value on the right hand side we are said to be assigning assigning this value to the variable to the identifier so until it changes result is always going to effectively be a placeholder for 50 and the key is variable it can vary so I said until we change it we can easily down the line change this variable to something else right now right now result is 50 but if I decide to down the line change 50 to 75 like that we are allowed to vary it this is in contrast to what we might call a constant a constant we can't change after we assign it in Python there is not a way to do constants in order to have a constant in other languages you can have constants in Python we just have variables which we can change so now if I type in result it gives back to me 75 because that name result is the placeholder for 75 which is the last thing assigned to that variable and the very first time we assign a value to a variable it's got its own word this is called initialization initialization like that the second time so result equals 75 that is not initializing it because result was previously 50 initialization is only the first assignment so the first assignment 
So let me clear this and show some examples of variables in action. So for example, let's have another variable called age. Age equals, let's say, 40. Press enter. Age is now saved as a variable. I can now change this because it's a variable and go age equals, say, 40. Uh, age equals. So if we want to increase the current value of age, we do age equals age plus, say, 10. If you've aged 10 years, it's unlucky. Press enter. Now, if I type in age, age will be 50 because I've used the current value of age as my value and added 10 to it. So it's not always just one value on the right hand side. We can have an we can have an expression on the right hand side which can be evaluated using some of the operators we looked at in the last video. The key thing is it is the right hand side which is being assigned to the left hand side, not the other way around. So I couldn't do say 50 equals age, you'll see I get a syntax error. The, identify has got to be on the left hand side. So in maths, the equal sign is very flexible. You can look at it either way, right? But in computer science, the direction matters, or at least in variable assignment, it's just that Python is using the equal sign to do this assignment. The left hand side is the variable name. I have shown how variables can be used to store values, store data, but also variables are really important when you are programming a proper program. Sometimes it can seem a bit pointless having a variable. If you're doing something like, um, in this case, for 40 plus 10, you can just do that. You don't need to set, say, age to be 40, right? Because you could then do age plus 10. It's giving us 50 as well. Setting age as a variable it does not make any difference to that calculation. It's just an extra step. It's an extra bit of data being stored. But variables are really important when you are programming for the future. Often, in fact, very, very often, you're not, when you're programming, exactly sure what data will be inside your program when it's being used properly. Maybe you are relying on some user input. Maybe the user is going to input their age and not every user is going to be 40 years old. So really, you'd be sort of leaving age as sort of some question mark, really, which will come from some input. And then you can write your code as if you're using that variable and then the actual value gets inputted during the actual program being used. For this try now, first of all, I'd recommend you play around with some variables, especially ones which relate to your own um, life. So things like your age, your birth year, and your phone number, maybe. Each one could be their own variable. For your phone number, make sure you don't put, say, plus four, four at the start. Ignore that bit. And leave off the first zero, which might cause an error. For question two, have a look at these six lines of code. See which ones you think are going to cause an error based on what we've looked at, which will break the, the syntax of Python, and then try them out to see if you are right or wrong.